Hi everyone, good to see you this week. So today is the Feast of Pentecost. You know, the word Pentecost comes from the Greek word that means 50th. So today is 50 days after Easter, and that's where the name came from. And it's an important holiday. You know, last week before Jesus ascended, before he went to heaven, he told his disciples that they were to preach the good news of Jesus to others, baptize the people, and teach others about him. Today I'm going to read both the first reading and the gospel because it's important to continue the story that we heard from last week. So here's our first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, the believers were gathered together in one room. All of a sudden they heard a sound like a strong wind that seemed to fill the whole house. Then they saw what looked like tongues of fire coming and resting on each one of them. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and immediately they started to speak in other languages. At that time, there were visitors in Jerusalem who had come from all over the world. They were amazed because they had heard the believers speaking in so many languages. And they said, how are they able to speak like this? Aren't all these people from Galilee? Yet we can all hear them telling in our own languages about the great things God has done. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So during the last few weeks of readings, Jesus was promising a helper or an advocate to come to help his followers. In today's reading, we hear how Jesus did that. So what happened in the reading? Well, there was that strong wind and tongues of fire indicating the coming of the Holy Spirit. This gift of the Holy Spirit gave the disciples the ability to preach with clarity and courage and to do Jesus's work here on earth. So let me, um, let me point this out to you. I mean, you can see that the color has changed and that it's red. Now that you've heard this reading, do you have any guess as to why the color for uh, Pentecost is red? Well, it talks about the tongues of fire that come upon the followers of Jesus and fire is red. And um, so we think of the Holy Spirit, we think of this color red. So whenever we have a feast day that um, is in, the Holy Spirit is included, we use the color red. We use it here at Pentecost. We use it at the Sacrament of Confirmation as well. So now moving on, do you remember what the words are that use that are used at baptize at, at baptisms? The priest or the deacon says, "I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit." So when we're baptized, we each also receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. What did the disciples do in the reading when they received the Holy Spirit today? They started to speak in other languages they had never learned. But all the people understood. You know, that's one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit. But more importantly than that, they were telling the people there about all the great things God has done. Since we also have the Holy Spirit from our baptism, we can share with others about the great things God has done for each of us. Now let's listen to the gospel from today. A reading from the Gospel of John. May Christ's word be on my mind, on my lips, and in my heart. On Sunday evening, the same day the women had been to the tomb of Jesus, the disciples were gathered in a room upstairs. They had locked the doors because they were afraid of the people who had crucified Jesus. Jesus came and stood in the room and said, Peace be with you. Then he showed him his hands and his side, and the disciples were filled with joy when they saw the Lord. Jesus said again, Peace be with you. As God has sent me to you, now I am sending you to others. Then he breathed on, dis on the disciples and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of anyone, they are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. The Gospel of the Lord. And we'll say praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we heard in the Gospel about other things we can do with the Holy Spirit in our lives. What is it? It's that we can forgive others. You know, when we forgive others, 
that have hurt us in some way, they can feel the freedom of our forgiveness. However, if we withhold that forgiveness, they can feel burdened by our lack of forgiveness. So we have the power by the Holy Spirit to free people from unnecessary burdens simply by being forgiving. So let us remember from today's reading that we are called by Jesus and given the power by the Holy Spirit to share our faith with others by telling them about the good things God has done for us and our need to forgive each other. So let's pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the response will be, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis and for all the men and women who serve your holy people, may the Holy Spirit shower them with gifts which unite languages, nationalities, and circumstances. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations to the priesthood, for those whom the, call, the Lord calls to minister to his people, especially for Paul Maxey, that they may have ears that hear, a heart that understands, and lips that pray and speak of God's love. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace. May your Holy Spirit influence minds and hearts to explore the path of communication, diplomacy, and compromise in pursuit of lasting peace and justice throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all those things we hold in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now let's just say a quick little prayer. God of all, thank you for your gift of the Holy Spirit to us and the whole church. Through the power of your spirit, may we tell the whole world about Jesus. Forgive those who hurt us as we have been forgiven and live a happy life, doing all that you want us to do by the help of the spirit. We pray this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. So today is the last day of Easter, and I hope that you've enjoyed your entire Easter season. See you next week. Bye.